Welcome back to KTSM 9 News, a small town spotlight live from Socorro. And when you talk about sports and Socorro, you have to talk about the 2009 Socorro High School baseball team. About 14 years ago, a Bulldogs team led by legendary head coach Chris Forbes put together one of the most dominant seasons in Texas high school baseball history. That led them to getting the chance to do something that no El Paso high school baseball team had done since the 1949 Bowie Bears win a state championship. I want to take you back, 2009, Dell Diamond Stadium in Round Rock, Texas, UIL 5A state championship game. Just what was your final message to the team before first pitch that day? You know, with those kids, I really didn't have to talk to them much, didn't really have to give them any motivational speech. I think they understood the importance of it. Welcome to the Texas 5A state championships. It's the Lufkin Panthers and the El Paso Socorro Bulldogs. In 2009, Socorro was one win away from Texas high school baseball immortality. We had been through a lot as a team. We grew up playing together since we were kids, you know what I mean? We spent holidays together and we were just focused, you know, like if we had one game to play and we just wanted to win the last one. Things did not start off well for the Bulldogs. Lufkin took an early 2-0 lead and held Socorro hitless through three, but it was in the fourth inning when things changed. The fourth inning, for some reason, it was our our inning of where we gelled. I know he's got a no-hitter going through three. This fourth one is ours, and they believed in it. 3-2 is a curveball hit in the air to deep left field. Doesn't have enough. Going back, and it is gone. Tie ball game. Then in the fifth inning, the floodgates opened again. Socorro had bases loaded, and one of its best hitters up at the plate, Corey Falcon. He was such a great hitter that, uh, you know, you knew something was going to happen. Corey was in the batter's uh, waiting on the on-deck circle and he comes and tells me, hey, watch this. I think I told somebody that in the dugout, I'm like, watch this, <laughs> and I went up and, yeah, it all worked out. The 0-1, another curveball, hit in the air to left. Back goes the left fielder, find him, and it's on the berm for a grand slam home run. When he came around third base, he, uh, you know, he slapped my hand pretty hard, you know, so I knew that we had the confidence then. That confidence led Socorro to holding off a late Lufkin rally in the final inning of the game to make history. And Falvey makes the grab! Socorro wins its first ever state championship! 60 years in the making! I just remember just jumping up and down, and then, you know, next thing you know, like, I'm at the bottom of the dog pile, right? So, uh, that was, it was pretty cool. I remember looking around and thinking, you know what, I'm a kid from Socorro, and I'm here to witness this, and we lived it for our community, and this is a great community to be in. Just all the, the time and effort put in from when we were little to finishing the game, you know, all the experience, all the days off, all the fights, it all made sense. It happened more than a decade ago. Why do you think it's still something people in not only in Socorro, but the city of El Paso still care about? Coming from El Paso and being able to achieve something that uh, is your ultimate goal, every coach, that's their, that's their dream, to win a state championship. And uh, to be able to do it from El Paso is uh, a big sense of pride for everybody. The final score, Socorro 12, Lufkin 7.